What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. Yesterday, the seven star Blastoise raids went live, so today I'll be sharing a solo strategy that you can take into these raids in case you don't have a group to take them down. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. So before we hop into the actual solo strategy, let me go ahead and show you what exactly you can expect once you actually get into the raid. So of course, Blastoise is gonna be level 100 and is gonna have the Steel Terra type and its ability is going to be Rain Dish, which means that if it sets up Rain Dance, it is going to regain HP, but it doesn't do that until you are very late into the actual raid. So you won't have to worry about its ability for majority of the raid, which is always nice. Its main moveset is going to be Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, Aura Sphere, and Iron Defense. However, it does also have access to Rain Dance, which like I said, it uses at like the end or towards the end of the raid, as well as Withdraw, which raises its defense by one stage, which uses at the beginning of the raid as well as Shell Smash, which not only raises its defense and special defense, but it also raises its attack, special attack, and speed by two stages. But once again, it doesn't use that till towards like the end of the raid. And then the last thing that you need to take note of is that it does set up its shield turn zero. So you will have to deal with the shield being up for the entirety of the raid. Luckily, one of the Pokemon that I already went over in yesterday's video where I was sharing the groove strategies does also work as a solo strategy Pokemon. And it's not Annihilate, actually. It's Gallade with a couple of adjustments. So Gallade is, of course, a psychic and fighting type, and you do want it to have the fighting Terra for this raid. And its item is going to be the Shell Bell, which means that every time that you use a damaging move on Blastoise, you are going to regain a bit of HP. Its EV spread is gonna be full HP and full attack with an adamant nature, and it is gonna have the ability Sharpness, which boosts the power of slicing moves. Its moveset is gonna be Sword Dance to help you set up Sacred Sword, which is going to be your big damage dealing move that's boosted by its ability. Light Screen to help you take some of the special attack hits. And then Mystical Fire not only does a bit of damage, but it also lowers Blastoise's special attack stat. But so now that we know exactly what we're gonna be going up against and what you want to bring, let's go ahead and hop into the actual strategy. So like I mentioned, some of the first things that are going to happen when you actually get into the raid is that Blastoise is gonna go ahead and use Withdraw to raise its defense stat. And then it's also going to set up its shield turn zero. So you are gonna have to deal with the shield for the whole raid, like I mentioned. What we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go in with Mystical Fire, and we're gonna use this for three turns in a row. This is not only going to help us to Rastalize, but it is also gonna lower Blastoise's special attack stat, which as you can see, that Hydro Pump did quite a bit of damage. We do get a small amount of HP back, but that's not like our main concern here. You just wanna go ahead and get your hits in as well as lower its special attack. So here is our Mystical Fire number two. And like I said, you're gonna be doing like zero damage. So don't expect too much from Mystical Fire here. You're mainly doing this to help you so that you can take those hits better. And you'll see throughout this raid that I am very unlucky at first because none of these Hydro Pumps are missing. It's basically 100% accurate for this fool for like the entirety of this raid. But as you can see, the more Mystical Fires that we get off on it, the less damage that the Hydro Pumps do, which before they were hitting so hard. But now that we have three Mystical fires off, we can go ahead and terrestrialize, and I'm gonna go ahead and start doing sword dances here. And you are going to want to go for three sword dances in a row. And since we did get three mystical fires off, you should be able to, unless you get critted, of course, this is barring a crit, that you should be able to survive all of the hits if, even if you're unlucky like me and Hydro Pump quite literally never misses. So here's me getting hit by yet another Hydro Pump because like I said, it's like 100% accurate on this fool for this raid, for me at least. And there's Sword Dance number one. So now we're gonna go in for our second Sword Dance. Here's Hydro Pump once again, not missing and hitting me again, but you can see we're taking the hits really well here. And then we're going to go for Sword Dance number three after this and we should be good to go. So after you get the three sword dances off, do you see how many times I've been hit by Hydro Pump? Hello, why are mine never that accurate when I do PVP? Just, just a question. 
But after you get your three sword dances off, you're going to go in for a sacred sword and you're going to see here that this is where you're going to get a ton of HP recovery. Once again, wow, wish my hydro pumps were this accurate. But anyways, here is our sacred sword and you'll see that it also does a ton of damage into the shield, which is also great. But we went from 41 HP to 273. So clearly we are good to go HP wise. Blastoise did remove the negative effects from itself, which means that we do have to go in for Mystical Fire once again, because these Hydro Pumps are going to start hitting really hard again. As you can see, that did a ton of damage. So here's a Mystical Fire just to bring its special attack down again so that we don't get knocked out while we're terrestrialized. I'm going to go for a second Mystical Fire here just to help us out once again, take the hits better. And look, I avoided my very first Hydro Pump. Wow, it's about time. I got hit with like seven before that. Wish that would have happened sooner, but it's fine. Like I said, even if you're unlucky like me and it hits you every time, we still survived. So now that we got two Mystical Fires off to help us out, I'm gonna go in for another Sacred Sword just to get rid of the shield. Here's me getting hit by another Hydro Pump. I mean, it was bound to happen eventually. And this is enough to take out the shield and bring it down to a decently low amount of green. We're almost in the yellow at this point. And we've also healed back up as well. After the shield breaks, it is going to go ahead and use Shell Smash, which is going to lower its defense and special defense. However, it is also going to raise its special attack, its attack, as well as its speed. So that could be an issue here, obviously but it's also going to go ahead and nullify any stat changes as well. So we are going to have to reset up. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower its special attack with Mystical Fire here. And then after that, I do have to reset up. So we're gonna go for Sword Dance number one. I am gonna get hit by this Hydro Pump, but since we got Mystical Fire off, it still does less damage than it would have, even though it raised its stats. And then I'm gonna go for a second Sword Dance here. And we got lucky with a paralysis, which is also very helpful because we didn't have to worry about taking any type of damage this turn. And then we are going to go in for a third sword dance here as well, which once again, we got really lucky with a full paralysis. So we basically got two free sword dances off, which is amazing. Making up for me getting hit by every freaking hydro pump under the moon. I am going to go ahead and set up light screen just as a precaution. And we did get another full paralysis, which once again, we love. And I'm going to go in for sacred sword from here until the end of the raid. And you shouldn't need that many sacred swords after three sword dances. Yeah, that literally brought it down to like a quarter of its HP. Maybe that's overestimating, but or underestimating, but whatever. It brought it down to a decently low amount of HP, okay? We are gonna avoid this next hydro pump here, and it is gonna set up rain dance a little too little too late, but like I said, it sets it up towards the end of the actual raid so that it can activate rain dish. I'm going to go in for another Sacred Sword here, which should bring it down to very, very low health. Yep, and we will be able to take it out next turn. I'm also going to avoid this Hydro Pump. So it looks like I was lucky at the end of the raid, but not in the beginning of the raid when it mattered the most. I would have rather had it be the opposite. You know what I mean? But anyway, here's our final Sacred Sword so that we can take Blastoise out. And as you can see, it's a pretty like solid strategy. It's a longer winded strategy, but like we don't have to worry about like HP or anything, especially if you're luckier than me. As for rewards, this does also have the chance to drop Ereba Mystica as well. So it's very similar to the Venusaur raid. And then you also are able to get like ability patches too. So it's got some pretty good drops. So definitely a good raid to farm as well. But there you have it. There is a simple solo strategy that you can take into the Blastoise raids in order to take it down. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and leave a comment down below with what you used in order to solo these raids. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, I kindly suggest that you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you were already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.